Hello friends, let's explore Toronto's Bear Cafe. I brought along a very special friend, ALB in Wonderland. She let me dress her up for the occasion. I gave her a beret, Ankh Rouge dress, brooch from Closet Child, and she brought her own favorite bear to go along with my Baby the Star Shine Bright bag and her own cotton candy feet shoes. I wore a beret with Kawaii Goods pin, blouse from Wego, dress I got secondhand but I believe is from a shop called Dream V, celestial circus brooch, a bear necklace my mom made me, tights Angelina gifted to me last Christmas, and my slip-on Oxfords, of course, along with my big Duffy bag. Teddy's Story is located on Adelaide Street East. They're a coffee and gift shop. That's right, all those bears aren't just for display, they're also for sale. They come in different sizes and textures. Even the huge ones at the front are for sale. They are very high quality and some are poseable. Teddy Story has a wide variety of clothes we kind of wish we could wear because they're all so cute. They come in different sizes for different bears and I imagine you could also use them for dolls too. They have lots of tiny accessories for teddy bears and bear themed accessories for you. I really like how they decorated this tree with bears. It's a cute way to show keychains multiple uses. ALB and I got some delicious treats. She had cheesecake and dark chocolate mocha. I got their vanilla latte and it had a bear in the foam. It was absolutely perfect. Their lattes come pretty sweet, which I love because I always find myself adding more sugar. Keep this in mind if you don't like sweet coffee, you might want to ask for it less sweet when you order. I also got a red velvet cake and it wasn't a slice of cake, but like a little mini cake a bear would eat. It was really good and not too rich. I really enjoyed it. Teddy Story has a lot of delicious drinks to keep you cozy in the winter, and if you happen to stop by when it's warmer, they also have fruit smoothies and milkshakes. Take a look at some of their sweet treats. What would you like to try? Of course, we had to sit at the table that had a bear and Angelina read them stories. Now, shh, sleep. There was another cute bear near us in a round chair, and they were playing Paddington Bear on a projector. I greatly enjoyed the bear cafe. I know it might seem overwhelming with the amount of bears, but it's really not. The staff is very kind and calm. They don't try to push sales at all. It's a bear. It's a bear. <laughs> the atmosphere is gentle and sweet. It's a cozy, cute getaway in the city. You can stop in for a quick drink or get comfy and admire all the bear friends. Teddy Story is active on Facebook and Instagram. Their shop is very photo worthy. They'll let you take as many as you like. However, I ask you personally from me, if you go there, please be respectful and don't just go in for photos. Support their business. Try a delicious drink. Buy me a bear. What? Did I say that? No, no. But, but for real, I want this place to thrive. So let's be respectful. It's probably my favorite coffee spot in Toronto. It's just so cute and makes me really happy. Teddy Story gave me this bear to thank me for posting about them, and I love her. They asked me to give her a name, and I'm not sure what to call her. 
Leave your ideas in the comments. Please make a trip to Teddy's Story if you are in the area, and if you're far away, check out their Facebook and Instagram for warm and fuzzy feelings. Stay lovely, my little bear friends.